Good, good afternoon. Uh, good practice out there today. I, I thought uh, there was good energy. I thought there was good execution for a Tuesday practice. Uh, and now we move on to the other situations during the week. Questions? Any depth chart changes? I think I released it. I gave Dave, uh, Jay a depth chart yesterday. Really no changes. Uh, Justin Goodwin might be available. He's questionable right now. And I felt that if he was going to be able to help us this week on a short week, that we would use him on offense. So that's where we're going to use him this week. Is that more permanent or just? I don't know that anything's permanent. You know, we're going to go week to week, and, and right now our focus is on being one another this Saturday night. What did he bring to the offense? What you, you feel like you comfortable with what, whatever you give him? I think he's got a proven track record of, of being an excellent ball carrier, catches the ball well out of the backfield, has, has been a good protector in, uh, in the short amount of time he's been here. So I think he's a complete player and, and somebody that has done it in games. So he's, he's one more guy on offense that I, that I think can, can help us score points. Does that, does that mean anything for Dez? He's had a pretty good first two games. Can you find carry, touches for all three? No, it doesn't mean anything for Dez because we're not even sure Justin's going to be available. We just think there's a chance he'll be available. So we've said if we're going to train him somewhere this week, let's, let's do whatever training we can on offense. Can you get a sense yet how honed in, how, how focused these guys are on the Saturday? Is it different than normal? I don't think it's different than normal. I think we were out there today very focused. It was a good Tuesday practice. I thought it was as crisp as a Tuesday practice is. There's a lot of new information, new, new, uh, new looks, uh, new game plans. So it's never, uh, it's never quite the same speed as it is later in the week. But, but I was very pleased today. Barnum and Chaffee didn't play a whole lot of corner the first game. How did you think they played the second game on corner? I, I think they're making improvements. I think they're making improvements. But I think we, we've still got a ways to go. And now that we're into game weeks, it's difficult to judge how much progress you're making early in the week. I think ultimately, as you get into the season, you're, you make your judgments on Saturdays. That's kind of been a lot of moving parts there already. Is that something you want to try and establish, make two guys be the top guys, or are you comfortable kind of moving guys in and out? I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. If the guys perform, if the guys perform during the week, I'm comfortable with playing more than two guys at corner. You know, we, can, we can play up to four, I would think, in a game. And, and then ultimately, some of those guys get moved to some of the sub-packages. You know, some of those guys go to nickel. Some of those guys go to dime. Uh, most of them play on special teams. So I, I'm very comfortable playing all those guys. Go ahead, uh, The challenges of Penn State's run defense, is that a strength of their team? It, there's no doubt. You look, at, you look at this statistically, what people have been able to do. I, I want to say it's, it's uh, I don't have the stats for me, but it's, it's under 2.5 yards a carry. It might be 1.7 yards a carry. I, I forget exactly what the number is, but it is uh, – They've been extremely effective in stopping people from running the football. And everything we do on offense begins with running the football effectively uh, to set up everything else we do. So uh, there's no doubt that that is, a, that is a matchup that we have to win to do what we want to do on offense. How about the emotion of this week? A little different, and do you manage that a little differently? Do you want them up here all week, or is it sort of an ebb and flow throughout as the week builds? They won't be at that level all week. I, I don't concern myself with that because there's a, there's a process that we have to go through to get ready for the game. And, and the emotion of game day is always different. Uh, what that emotion, whatever emotional lift there can be from, from playing in a game like this, whatever that can be, can, you can use that to fuel what you're doing during the week. And I think as long as you're doing that, it, it's going to help you on Saturday. Do you have to do anything to prepare for uh, the noise, especially on defense, hand signals or communication issues? You know, because you know it's going to be loud when they're off and on the field. Nothing that we don't get ready for when we go on the road. We've already done that uh, for the first game, and, and we've done it in the past, so we won't do anything out of the ordinary, anything different. Is it fair to say this is going to be an atmosphere that we haven't seen here in recently, or to what extent? I think we've had, I think we've had some pretty good atmospheres here. Will this one be completely different? I don't, I don't know. You have to ask me after the game on Saturday, but. Uh, I know that this atmosphere this week will be as good as any we've had. I, I do believe that. How do you feel the pass rush has been, and do you need that? Is that a big factor this uh, Saturday? It's a big factor if you can stop them from running the ball. You know, that's really when, you're, when your pass rush gets going. It's, it's because you, you're, the offense is in those must-pass situations. So in the first game, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to judge that, that part of it necessarily because they're going to throw the ball all the time, and we're able to get to the quarterback a few times. You know, in the second game, we got to the quarterback a little bit more because we had the lead. You know, that helps. So if, if, we can, if we can minimize their run game, it will, help, it will help us get to the passer. And then when they're in those must-pass situations, 
if you have to bring more than four to get to the quarterback, you're leaving yourself very susceptible to, to what is an excellent quarterback on the other side. What, uh, what kind of role do the uh, quote-unquote bulletin board material play this week in the locker room or in meetings and stuff? To me, it doesn't play any. You know, I don't need any more motivation than the opportunity to be 1-0 in the Big Ten Eastern Division. To the players? You'd have to ask the players. And Coach Flood, Flood, I know you addressed this already. You did speak about yesterday being a sad day for the organization and that Ray Rice is still a part of the family. Have you been able to talk to him at all? And what are your thoughts about some of these things coming down because you don't really want to be affiliated at this time with what has happened and what has transpired? I made a statement yesterday about you know, how I felt. It's on the website. You guys are more than free to look at it. I don't have any comment on what the NFL has done. It's not my job. Have you been to, able to, uh, talk to, to Are you going to let me answer the question, or are you going to speak over me? Go ahead, Dan. I don't have any question. I don't have any comment uh, on what the NFL has done, and I haven't had any communication with Ray either. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.